Hello there and thanks for joining me at my time bench again. In today's tutorial I'm going to tell you up a pattern. It's a searching nymph pattern. And you may have heard of or tied the uh, renegade dry fly. This is the uh, renegade nymph. It's another fly out of one of my favorite pattern books. Flies the best 1000. And I decided to tie this guy up for you this time around. So I'll get him a device, a fresh hook in, and I'll get going here for you. The hook is a Must Head 9671. I'm tying him on a size 10 here. Get that locked down the vise. There we go. And for the weight on this guy, it's 0 0.015 lead wire. And I want to get about 10 or 15 wraps on this guy. So we'll start that lead on here first. Get him weighted up. Okay, snip that end off. And I'll come around. And do a couple more wraps going that way. Snip that off. There we go. Okay, squeeze those wraps together. And I want that just about in the middle of the shank. Right about there is good. Okay, and thread is Danville 6 aught and a brown. So, I'm going to start the thread right behind the uh, lead here. Make a few wraps. And I'm just going to snip that tag end off. Okay. Now we're going to wrap behind the lead. Then up on top. We're going to wrap forward. Build a little thread dam in front of that lead. Come back down. Another little thread dam behind the lead like so. And we're going to wrap to just about the barb right there. Now there's a tinsel tag on this guy and it calls for small gold tinsel so I got some uh, Mylar tinsel here and I'll just cut a piece off here and we'll tie that with the silver side facing up so when I wrap it the uh, gold side shows and we'll tie him in there right on top like so down the bend just a hair and then come back stop our thread right about at the hook point and we'll wrap that make a couple wraps down and then come back up just like so here just want to get a small golden tag on them and I'll wrap that forward to the thread, tie it off, just like so here. Okay, that's good. Come in, snip off the excess. Now I'm going to come back to just in front of the barb once again, just like so. Now before I proceed, I'm going to take a little bit of head cement, put on that tinsel just to make it a little more durable there. A little drop, spread it around. There we go. Okay, now this fly <coughs> has a shell back on it, and the shell back consists of pheasant tail fibers. So I'm gonna got a bunch here, probably 10 to about 15 fibers, I would say 15 or 20 fibers. Okay, now I'm gonna just cut the tips off there, and we're gonna tie that in right there behind the lid tie it back to right where your tinsel tag starts and we'll stop right there okay that looks fine wrap that down nice and secure okay now the first hackle on it is white and I have a white hen hackle here I got the hackle strip stroked back on it just to expose that tip is what I want and I'm going to cut a little triangle for a tie-in point. Tie him in right there. Just like so. And wrap forward. Now I'll hook onto him with my pliers here. Okay, and just stroke those fibers back a little. Then we'll begin to wrap. And we'll get one wrap right in front of the next here. So we use up all this hackle, we get 
four, three or four turns usually. Come around and we'll come up and I'll tie that off with a couple wraps to catch that in. Snug down, I'll release those pliers. And I'm going to secure that hackle stem in there nice and tight. Snip off the excess. Okay, that's our first tackle. Now, wrap forward a few wraps and stop your thread there. Okay, next step is the body and its peacock curl. And I have four strands selected here, so I'm just going to line these up. And get the tips even here for starters. Okay. And I'll cut those brittle tips off. And we'll tie that right on top of the hook. Go back three to four wraps. Stop there and I'm going to form a loop with my finger. Because I'm going to make a peacock rope like I always do. Come back. A couple wraps around the base of it. Come up, lock it in. Take a hold of the thread and the hurl. And make enough wraps back to you. So you're right in front of the hackle there. And we'll stop it right there. And wrap forward to where we want our body to end. Because we've got to leave room. Remember we've got to leave room for the hackle here. So I'll stop it right about there. Okay, so grab my other hackle pliers and grab a hold of that. Thread and hurl at the bottom. And before I twist that up and wrap it, I'm going to take a little hit cement once again. Put a few drops right along the... Uh, on top of the shank there where the lead is just for added durability okay now let's begin to spin this loop up a bit here and we'll start to wrap this first wrap right in front of your hackle just like so okay and then we'll spin it a little bit more and we'll proceed to wrap forward here. Just keep wrapping one wrap right in front of the next. You may have to twist it a little more as you go to keep that rope tight. And just keep wrapping forward. And I'll do one more wrap. And I'm going to tie this guy off. Come in behind a couple wraps. Front. Then I'm going to wrap back. Nice snug wraps. And come in and snip that excess nice and close. Okay. Now our next step is our second hackle, which is brown hen hackle. Same deal. I got one ready here. I'm going to stroke those fibers back. And I'm going to just expose the tip there. And trim it so you have a little triangle like so. Tie in. And I want to catch that there. Just like so. There we go. Alrighty. Okay. Okay, secure that in well. Now, grab my hackle pliers once again here. Same deal as the first tackle. Okay, we'll get that. Situate it and stroke them fibers back. Try to preen them back a little bit there so they're facing back. And we'll begin to wrap our brown hackle. Just like so here. One wrap in front of the next. Just like so. Stroke them back as you go. Okay, until you run out of hackle, then we'll tie that off. A couple wraps around that stem. Nice and tight. Okay, make a couple more. And I'm going to fold everything back here. And wrap back on it. Just like so. Nice and snug. And I'm going to trim that a little fiber there I want to trim out. Okay. 
Yeah, I'm gonna reach in and grab that stem of the hackle there and snip him out. Okay. Okay, now I'm gonna just take these hackles and sort of press down, push down so the hackles are all facing downward. The fibers. I want it before I fold that shell back over. Okay, now I'm gonna bring bring your shell back across the top top of the hook just like so okay that looks pretty good right there now we'll catch this guy in on top a couple secure wraps there and I'll check that for positioning it's going right across the top that looks fine and one more wrap for it then I'm going to fold back on these and I'm going to wrap back on them, locking them in place. Makes it much more durable that way. Okay, snug them down. Check it once again, that looks fine. Okay, come in and snip off the excess. Nice and close. Just like so here. Okay, that looks fine. Yeah, a few more wraps back. Secure those ends down. And we'll wrap forward once again here. And we're going to build the head on this guy. Okay. That looks fine right there. So all we got left now is a whip finish. And he's a done deal. So I'll bring in my whip finisher. And we'll make four or five turns here. Okay, release that, come down, snug it in tight, snip off the excess thread, and there he is, another size 8 Renegade Nymph. Just another twist on the popular Renegade Fly, the dry fly, this is the Nymph version. And one more thing which I like to do, like always, I'm going to take some UV resin. And I'm going to grate over that shell back to make it more durable. So I'll get some out here. We'll go right over the top of that. Put one nice little coat on them there. That way he'll last longer. The trout's teeth start hitting it. Okay, and I'm going to put a little around the head of the fly as well, the thread wraps. A little bit around the head of this guy. Just go all the way around. Okay. Just like so. Okay, that's fine. Now we just cure him up with the UV light and we're good to go. Just go around there over the shell back. Okay. Okay, that should do them right there. There we go. Done deal. Not an overly difficult fly to tie, and it's a good all round searching nymph pattern. And I think it's kind of a cool looking fly myself. And, uh,. Hopefully, you can have, if you have the materials, you can give this guy a whirl and throw a few of these in your box for next season. So, like always, I want to thank you for watching. And, uh, like I always say, if you're a new viewer and you like this tutorial and you'd like to see more, just hit the good old subscribe button there. And also that little bell icon, so that will let you know when I'm putting... Uh, new videos up and uh, throw in a like too if you wish and also I want to wish everyone a Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays and stay safe out there and until next time I will see you again soon and uh, so long for now folks